Hi guys! So this video is going to be for this little beauty right here. And this is called a paw palette. And what a paw palette is, is a palette that connects to your hand, like so. These sell for $20, and they are available on, obviously, www.crystalpowder.com. Now, if this is showing up backwards on camera, I'm sorry, but I'm definitely not a backwards writing expert, so I just wrote it, and yeah. But anyways, it looks cool. <laughs> so I just thought I would put this on there. This has been sitting for a little while on there, so I can show you how easy it is to clean. So why this is awesome? <laughs> First of all, it's awesome because it's lip shaped. <laughs> she does have different shapes, by the way. She has hearts. She has a bow, which is totally adorable, and she has the original square. And uh, so I love these. I actually wouldn't mind having every shape. I do want every shape, actually. I want one for like my car, one for my purse, one for my makeup kit, one for my bathroom. One for my pocket. <laughs> I want a bunch of them. These are pretty awesome. So these are made of acrylic. So they're nice hard acrylic. And they are nicely buffed and sanded around the edges. No sharp like ah edges. No worries of cutting your hands. And even the corners are not rough corners. They're very rounded, nice and smooth. And um, so this is really awesome. Okay. So one of the things that makes this awesome is because it straps to the back of your hand, if you're a makeup artist, or even if you're not a makeup artist, these are really great too. Like if you're just doing makeup on yourself, which is what I use mine for because I haven't been doing any freelance work lately. So if you are just using it on yourself, it is just as easy to use it on yourself as it is anybody else. You just put it on the back of your hand and it keeps your hand in full use. You still get to use your hand. Whereas if you're using a palette like this, you lose the full loose, uh, full use of the hand that's holding it, and that's just kind of You can sucks. still, you know, hold an eye. You can hold a tissue or whatever if you're, you know, applying makeup to somebody else. You still have complete use of the hand, which I absolutely love that because I am a complete klutz when it comes to having to use only one hand. It's just nothing good can come of it. Because this is acrylic means it's non-porous, so your stuff will not soak into it, uh, which means less product waste, like uh, if you're anything like me, and you use a foundation that doesn't come in a pump, or you have to mix two shades together, or just, I, I mix my foundation pretty much every day now, and like this Rev On Color Stay, it does not come with a pump, so you have to pour it out onto something. Well, hello, you can pour it out onto this, and you can mix on this, you can do everything on this, this is really um, great. So less product waste, one, and number two, just so much more sanitary. Uh, when you put things on the back of your hands, whether you're working on yourself or you're working on somebody else, you touch and you transfer oils and just bacteria and gross stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely awesome for that. So the other thing why I really, really, really love it is because it's super duper easy to clean. Okay, um, like if you look at this. Same eyeliner. I use the same eyeliner on this that I did in this. And you can see, not only is it not all out, I've washed this thing like five times since I used it this last time when I did this. And not only did it all not wash out, but it's stained, okay? This stuff's stained. That's not going to happen with this. It will not stain. I even tried putting stuff on the edge because you know how sometimes like... Uh, if they're grooves, things will get in there and stuff and get kind of fugly and stuff. So I even tried, I smeared stuff on the edge and I let it sit there and no staining after I wiped it off. So absolutely no staining, which means it's even that much more sanitary because when things soak in, if things are porous, bacteria grows. Okay, so gross. So the other thing why I like it is because it's completely adjustable. So it's got an adjustable elastic strap. This thing is so well made. Like I said, no sharp edges, no bumps, no nothing. I mean, it's very, very well made. I know Crystal makes these all herself. She is a complete one-woman show, which means she does all the cutting, she does all the buffing, she does all the sanding, everything herself, which I think is just, I love companies like that. I just think it's so cool. So this is adjustable. It has a little uh, stud on the end with her website. It does. It is stamped inside that it is patent pending. 
So each one came, comes with a protective sheeting, like a protective paper, which looks like this. And you just peel it off and it's not sticky on there. I thought when I peeled this off that it was going to remain kind of sticky on there and it was something I was going to have to scrub off. Not at all. Um, each one also comes with instructions. And the instructions are remove any and all protective paper, adjust to size, and put it on. Sanitize with 99% alcohol. Now, I don't have 99% alcohol. I have 91% alcohol. But um, that's just going to have to work for now. Uh, you can put these anywhere. You can layer them. Like if you are doing a big job or something, you can put more than one on your arm because obviously your arm is long and you have lots of space there to work with. Uh, there is one thing that I think would be kind of cool if it did have was like over to the side if there's like a little well or something dipped into it for when you're using things like mixing mediums and stuff. You have like just a little well to catch just a little bit of water or mixing medium, whatever. Um, I think that would be really cool to have in these. Uh, that would pretty much be the only thing that I would change. Uh, well, aside from the strap length, that's not a huge deal. Um, if you wear it up on your arm or something, obviously it, it helps to have extra length. But what I just do is I just tuck it in. So it's not really a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and show you how easily this thing cleans. Normally I would use a wet wipe to wipe it off and then um, spray it with alcohol afterwards, but I am running low on wet wipes, so I've, I've got five more, so I'm just going to show you with alcohol and a paper towel. So I let this dry. Now this eyeliner right here, this is the Motives eyeliner. This is one of the things I really love to use this for too, is my eyeliner. And what that does with your eyeliner is if you use this, what I like to do is I take uh, a little bit of eyeliner, or I take a little bit of eyeliner out of my pot, like so, okay, and then I like to put it on my thing like this, and then I use my eyeliner from this instead of the, from the pot, which remains more sanitary that way too because you're not dipping your brush back into your pot after you've touched it to your eye, but also it keeps the, your eyeliner from drying out faster because if you just take a little bit out. Put it on your palette, and then put the lid back on, less chance of your eyeliner drying out. Oh, and I also use it, same great thing for, this actually came in a little squeeze tube, but it, this is my concealer. If you use uh, liquid concealers or anything like that, that come in a tube with a wand, anything with a wand, you just smear a little bit on the back of your palette instead of touching it to your face, because then that bacteria from your pimples gets back into the tube for your concealer. So that means more pimples, blemishes, whatever. So if you put a little bit, buy brand new concealer, use your paw palette, put a little bit on your paw palette, put the wand back in there, it never touches your face. And you just use an, a, a brush or your finger or however you apply your concealer. So, yes, I'm going to show you now, even though I just said I was going to show you how I clean it. Now I'm actually going to show you how I clean it. <laughs> so all you do, I actually like putting it on my hand this way when I do it, you take it, I'm going to spray mine with a little bit of alcohol because like I said I'm running low on wet wipes. And you wipe it off. Look how easily that's coming off. Now this has been dried on here for a while because this eyeliner is actually very hard to get off skin and stuff. And like I showed you on that palette, it had stained. Now look, it's all over my hand. Okay, so now look, there's a little bit right there on that edge. And you'd think maybe that would get stuck in there, and it doesn't at all. I just wipe it off and it comes right out. No more eyeliner on the edge. So, yeah, this thing is amazing. Now, she did send this to me for review purposes, so I do have to say that I did get this pretty much for free. I did spend $2 um, to help pay for the shipping because that's what she requested. And I don't care because it's the best $2 I think I've ever spent. So I highly, highly, highly suggest this little thing. I mean, for something that seems so simple, it is just an amazing thought. I mean... I never would have thought to make a palette that goes on the back of my hand for makeup artists. I mean, that is just such a good idea. And I'm actually kind of irritated that I didn't think of it first. <laughs> but anyways, this is just so cool and I just absolutely adore it. And um, 
Yeah, so make sure you so check I'm gonna put the link out. for her Facebook page and both of her shops where you can find these down below in the description box. Make sure you check them out. I think that you would not be disappointed at all. Oh, and the shipping was super duper fast. It came in a manila envelope like this inside of a little organza bag with a couple business cards. Um, I think she sent it out and I had it within two or three days and that's coming from all the way from California coming to Ohio. So it was really, really quick and, um... I would have totally paid full price for this thing. I don't even care. As a matter of fact, I plan on buying one. I don't know when, but I'll buy one. Um, I'm an impulsive buyer, so I don't always buy things online like I want to because I tend to go to the store and spend my money there, but I'm such an impulsive buyer. But I will buy one. I promise. <laughs> I'm going to buy one. And uh, So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!